So here we go again guys, uh, the Estabreeze I-700 on the man cave. Uh, on the other video you can see where I flew the turbine and it's running off this MPPT charge controller. I forgot to mention it does have dump load on this little Chinese charge controller. It came with this initial one dump load and yes I know it shouldn't be anchored to wood. It's temporarily hooked up. Uh, it's not going to stay that way. That's coming down. But I just hooked it up for now as is where is. It's coming down and these two uh, other 400 uh, watt uh, dump loads are going to be added to it. So this one is apparent to be 800. So these other two will be apparent to be uh, 8 and 8 to be 1600. Now there's no way this turbine's going to put it out. But one of the complaints about on the readme's I read was this uh, uh, got damaged or stopped working for uh, one of the uh, users. So I don't want that to happen in the turbine to freewheel. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, throw those other two in with it and build a steel box with a one inch air barrier around it so that uh, dissipation can take effect there with the uh, uh, should there be nobody home or something and something uh, happen. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is show you what this little turbine can do in rated wind speeds of 20 kilometers an hour and we'll just monitor it for the uh, a short duration and uh, maybe speak a little bit more about uh, this Chinese MPPT charge controller because I gotta tell you I know it's rated wind speed and I know it's a small amount but this thing just keeps going and going and going compared to a three-phase bridge rectifier now as you can see on the monitor for the small I-700 for this turbine to produce that and rate of wind now at this point we are at 20 kilometers an hour we do have gusts of up to 30 kilometers an hour but just to sit there and watch the uh, the ratings I'm, I'm watching this hit in some uh, 30 kilometer uh, quick flash gusts uh, it, it's hitting somewhere uh, as high as 15 amps but for a small turbine I believe this turbine will hit rated speed I can't say I've seen it because I haven't but it's too new to say otherwise uh, consider that the wind is only uh, 20 kilometers an hour from the south uh, with 30 kilometer gusts it is it just keeps going it's uh, it's uh, if you're looking for wind there's the only way I see it is MPPT to make it worthy of even having so as you can see it, it'll stall out to nothing when the wind dies down and eventually it, it swings right back up and <laughs> You can see when you want to rate it, uh, <laughs> the wind dies off. So, yeah, we are just at rated uh, wind speeds. But uh, I, I got to tell you, this uh, charge controller has me impressed all the heck. So, if you're going to fly one of these guys, uh, get yourself one of these cheap Chinese charge controllers. It's uh, night and day in the difference. Now, I can say for the duration of running the three-phase bridge rectifier compared to this the, the difference is absolutely incredible because the bridge rectifier would take it all of it from it and then it would have to spin back up opposed to uh, uh, the MPPT it, it doesn't it allows it to ramp up and it only takes a little bit of it to keep it going so that longer duration of that smaller amount of power over time it, it does make a difference And you'll see some small uh, 200 watts, 6 amps, 140. And you can barely hear it out there. It's not very loud. I realize it's a small turbine, but it is what it is. To see this on this MPPT and see it uh, function as it, as it is, is uh, definitely uh, worth the investment, in my opinion. Now just before I put this camera on, this thing was hitting 10 amps and flashes and 5 and 10 and 8 and 6 and 2 and 4 and yeah it's wild power but uh, compared to that bridge rectifier it's, it's definitely night and day. Now with the bridge rectifier I'm sure a lot of people running them if they have high winds I don't think it would make a whole lot of difference so where the MPPT shines is in the low wind. 
Now if this thing was to crank out, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 kilometers, you'd see it in its rate at wind speed, and I'm sure that it would hit it. We'll put another video out there for that, and uh, we'll see if that's the case. But uh, as of yet, it's just too new to say. But this is the Breeze i700, small wind turbine with an MPPT charge controller at rate at wind speed, 20 kilometers an hour. I know this is boring guys, you want to flip through, I don't blame you, but for those interested in the so-called MPPT charge controllers, this will give you an idea of what uh, what they their advantages are and the disadvantages of running one with a bridge rectifier. Now if you had high winds again, it really probably wouldn't make a difference. Now with my high winds when it was 30 to 50 kilometers, it was producing 500 watts on the small turbine, the highest i seen with the bridge rectifier, but it wouldn't hold it. It would just simply be like putting the brakes on again. It's it's shocking the difference. I don't know uh, if anyone has run with the uh, with the MPPT. They definitely would not go back to a bridge rectifier. At least in my case. Now this small wind doesn't seem to make a, ho a whole lot of difference. I agree, but this small wind overnight has created more in eight hours than the bridge rectifier has in five days and higher rate of winds on the bridge rectifier so I hope this clears things up with the MPPT now this MPPT I'm impressed with but it's a cheap knockoff Chinese MPPT how long I'm gonna get out of it I don't know but I'm not buying a uh, a midnight classic that's a thousand dollar charge controller for this small turbine so I'm gonna run with this small uh, lower cost MPPT it uh, appears to work fine and for 200 bucks I could buy five of these over uh, uh, a midnight classic but uh, I may take and uh, move this up to the off-grid cabin for the young fella and uh, I may put a, a bigger turbine here down the road uh, over the summer I do have the i1500 coming on a follow-up video for the off-grid homestead and that will be another video I'll shoot it's a 48 volt system with a uh, TriStar 60 and dump load and uh, I may put the Classic on that, the Midnight Classic charge controller. They are uh, a higher end charge controller. I may run with one of these Chinese ones too because they're only 300 for the higher rated uh, 2000 watt MPPT charge controller for uh, the same one. And, and I gotta say, I do like them. I just don't know the longevity of them and, and it's uh, very vague to find out information out there on these charge controllers. It's uh, a hit and miss but uh, I think yeah, you're gambling no matter which one you buy because people are saying a lot of them don't work but I can tell you this one does. I'll give you a little view of the, which one it is so you can see all these blue ones are pretty much all the same. They are uh, all different brands. They got all different names. They're not the same uh, company each time. I'm They're knockoffs from China. It is what it is but That'll give you uh, just a general uh, outlook on the uh, Istabreeze i700 24 volt system in rate at winds with an MPPT charge controller. We will put another video up and uh, when the winds kick out and uh, give you a better outlook as to what this can produce where it's uh, maximum harvest or production and we'll update that as soon as I have that wind available we'll get you that video out there just to show what this MPPT and this I-700 Estabreeze can do. Estabreeze I-700 and rate it wind. That's all I got.